To set up the Vista Automation Module, which we will refer to as VAM in this video, you will need to be in the location where the VAM will be installed. This will be a two-step process. In Step 1, you will connect the iPad to the VAM to configure it. In Step 2, you will connect the VAM to the router. The four-wire ECP should already be run from the Vista panel to this location. You also need a tablet device, such as an iPad, and access to a Wi-Fi router. Before you install the VAM, write down the unit's SSID, WPS key, and the default IP address listed on the back of the unit. Locate the user's Wi-Fi router and write down the router's SSID and password key. You may have to get this information from the owner of the router. Plug the four-wire cable to the connector on the back of the VAM. Mount the VAM and verify that the VAM is powered up and its Wi-Fi is operational. Now we're ready to pair the VAM to the router. You will need a tablet device and the information you wrote down earlier. From the tablet device, select Settings. Then select Wi-Fi and look for the VAM network, which will start with the letters V-A-M. The last four digits will be different for each unit. You will need to enter a password. Use the password key listed on the back of the VAM device that you wrote down earlier. Enter the password and click Join. Navigate to the tablet's home screen, then select the tablet's web browser. Enter the VAM's default IP address that you noted earlier, then select Go. You should now see the Automation Controller home screen. Select the Set Home Router icon. You will see the setup screen. Enter the router's SSID you noted earlier, then enter and confirm your password key. Select Connect. It will take approximately two minutes for the VAM to connect to the Wi-Fi router. Leave this screen on your browser. We will be returning to it in the next few steps. Select your device's home screen. Select Settings. Then select Wi-Fi Settings. Select the VAM network. Return to the browser by selecting the home screen. Then select the web browser icon. You should be back to the same screen as before. Select Show IP Info. You should now see your router listed as well as an automatically selected IP address, shown in gray. Write down this IP address so you can add it to your tablet's home screen. Select Save and Bookmark this device. Please note, if you have extensive IT knowledge, it is recommended that you use a fixed IP address. You will be asked to reboot. Select the green checkmark icon to continue. It will take approximately a minute to reboot. Once completed, you will have to reconnect your tablet to the Wi-Fi router. Navigate to the home screen. Select Settings. Select Wi-Fi. Then, select the router network. Once more, navigate to the home screen, then the web browser. Enter the IP address you noted earlier and add a shortcut to your home screen. Now you can select this shortcut to control your VAM automation controller from anywhere in the home. In case you lose the shortcut, you can locate the VAM's IP address by typing in vam.mylandconnect.com in the tablet's browser. The router will need to be connected to the Internet. The MyLand Connect web page will display the VAM and its IP address. You can also open the VAM automation controller from here. Congratulations! You have successfully installed the VAM.